Well, we know very little about chloropid flies generally. In fact, we know very little about the pollinators of most plants. It's kind of a mystery. And when you come across something like this, it actually is really quite surprising. Um, there, is, there are many, some plants have many uh, pollinators, others have only a few pollinators. And this is a record of a chloropid fly, which seems to be attracted to this flower and actually picking up the pollinia and carry them back along to pollinate them with another plant. So this is actually uh, another little bit of information that we have to this whole complex picture of uh, plant-insect relationships and pollination. Uh, tell me, Esther, how did you come across this? Oh, these, these amazing little flies. It was, well, I was out photographing orchids one day with some friends, orchid hunters, and we came across these tiny, I saw these little specks on the orchids, and I thought, what is this, fungus? And as I got my camera on them and I put on my maximum uh, magnification macro lens, I saw that they, they were in fact little yellow specks that the flies seemed to be carrying around on their heads. They were plumes. Yes, that's very interesting because when you look at your, see how, you can see how actually how small these flies really are. And when you actually look at some of the photographs or look at them in the microscope, you see those little plumes, those yellowish plumes are actually pollinia, the, the pollen sacs from the plant itself. And the fly has been tricked into carrying these pollen sacs as part of the old game of pollination where the plant gives it some nectar and then, then the fly or the bee has to carry the pollen. Great. And then, even more bizarre, I saw the flies pull up their little legs and adjust these big plumes on their backs. Yes, that's that's very unusual. I mean, that's quite uh, striking behavior. Whether they're adjusting the plumes or maybe these these uh, pollinia were actually getting in the way of their wings or flying, but obviously I think they're used to carrying them. But yes, if they were to adjust them or somehow get them uh, orientated, and if you look at your photographs, you find that some of them are slightly lopsided on the body. So I think that it could be they're actually trying to get themselves some balance because they must be a bit heavy. Yeah. <laughs>